Our educational animation on the journey from fertilization to childbirth, exploring the miraculous process of human reproduction. This journey begins with conception, where a single sperm cell fertilizes an egg in the fallopian tube, forming a zygote. This momentous event forms a zygote, containing the complete set of genetic material necessary to create a new life. Through a remarkable process called mitosis, the zygote undergoes multiple divisions, forming a cluster of cells known as a blastocyst, and travels down the fallopian tube towards uterus. In the second week after fertilization blastocyst implants itself into the uterine lining in a process called implantation. And blastocyst will turn into embryo. Here, it begins to receive nourishment from the mother's body and continues to grow and develop. Over the next few weeks, the embryo undergoes rapid development, transforming from a cluster of cells into a recognizable human form. This is called embryonic stage. During the embryonic stage, which spans from week 3 to week 8, the blastocyst transforms into a complex structure with three primary layers, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm, which give rise to all the organs and tissues of the developing baby. Over the subsequent weeks, these layers give rise to the foundation of the baby's body, neural tube begins to form in this embryonic stage, eventually brain and spinal cord, nervous system, and cardiovascular system, will also begin to develop in this stage. Limbs are also started to form in this stage. By the end of the embryonic stage, around eighth week, the embryo officially transitions into the fetal stage, which spans from week 8 to week 13. From this point onward, the focus shifts to growth and refinement of existing structures as the fetus continues to develop recognizable facial features, fingers, toes, and a rapidly expanding brain. The fetal skeleton continues to develop, with bones becoming more defined as cartilage transforms into bone tissue, providing support and structure. The fetus's senses continue to develop, with the ability to sense light filtering through the womb. Facial expressions may also begin to emerge. During the second trimester, from week 14 to week 27, the fetus experiences a period of rapid growth and maturation. Organs mature, muscles strengthen, and the fetus becomes more mobile, responding to touch, sound, and light. The fetus may be able to hear sounds from the outside world, such as the mother's heartbeat or voice. A protective substance called vernix begins to form on the fetus's skin. Vernix helps to protect the fetus's delicate skin from the amniotic fluid and prepares it for life outside the womb. The fetus's lungs continue to mature, with increasing production of surfactant to support breathing after birth. The respiratory system is preparing for the transition from receiving oxygen through the umbilical cord to breathing air independently. In the third trimester, from week 28 until birth, the fetus undergoes final preparations for life outside the womb. The baby settles into position for birth, and the mother may experience Braxton Hicks contractions as her body prepares for labor. As the third trimester begins, the fetus experiences a period of continued rapid growth and development. Organs mature further, muscles strengthen, and the fetus begins to settle into position for birth. By this stage, most of the fetuses will settle into a head-down position in preparation for birth. This positioning helps to facilitate a smoother delivery process. The fetus's lungs are nearly fully developed, with surfactant production reaching optimal levels to support breathing. The fetus practices breathing movements, inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid to help strengthen the respiratory muscles. And finally, the moment arrives, the miracle of childbirth. Childbirth typically begins with the onset of early labor, which can last for several hours or even days. During this stage, the cervix begins to dilate and efface in preparation for the baby's descent through the birth canal. With each contraction, 
the mother brings her baby one step closer to meeting the world. The transition phase marks the final stretch of labor, where the cervix fully dilates to 10 centimeters. With one final push, the baby emerges into the world, greeted by the loving arms of the mother and the cheers of the medical team. Once your baby is born and the cord stops pulsating, it's time for the cord to be cut. Doctor will gently clamp the cord in two places, usually about four to six inches away from your baby's belly. Then cut the cord between the two clamps, creating a clean and safe separation. In the immediate postpartum period, the medical team attends and assists with the delivery of placenta. And so, from the moment of fertilization to the miracle of childbirth, the journey of human reproduction is a testament to the wonder of life itself.